Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So again, hello. This is the, the continuity of the earlier lecture, so lecture number 13. And the, here I describe the earlier lecture, I just gave so one type of method I gave. In the numerics, we will check whether that method was good or now I describe some another method to which is uh, uh, really like a moving squares method. So in short form, I may use the MLS method. So it is the same. It is not different from the earlier idea. So we have, uh, we have again, some grid point xi so x1 x2 xi xi plus 1 up to xn then we have the function value here we want to approximate somewhere here at point xo from its neighbor point and uh, so we use again we use Taylor expansion so this is the function of f here it was of f of x i j around f of x o so just to start with the first order f of x i j is equal to f of x o plus x i j minus x o f x plus e of x i j. So 13.1 I give number for j is from 1 to m. So we have m equation. And now again Assume that f of x o approximate to its nearest nearest grid value. So if it is closer than if this one is closer, we approximate with f of x o is approximate to this value, or if it is closer to that, it approximate to that one. So from all the neighbor list we sort the which one is the closest one and once we know the closest one that we define it as the x mean and then we assume that this f of x0 is approximating the nearest value. So then we subtract. So in the earlier case what we did that we just replace this one directly here but now in this case, I want that little bit different approach. We subtract f of x mean on both sides of 13.1. So what do we get? So f of x i j minus f of x mean on the left hand side is equal to nothing else f of x o minus f of x min plus 
x i j minus x o f of x plus e of x i j where j runs from so here again so it was little bit different from the, our earlier case so earlier case we have not subtracted on both side now here i have subtracted on both side now again we use the symbol so denote denote bj is equal to f of x i j minus f of x o so sorry f of x min and now since we are looking for f of x o so i denote this as our a1 now f of x o minus f of x min and i denote like earlier case that uh, d of x j is equal to x i j minus x o and e of j is equal to e of x i j okay so if I put this notation to this equation, what do I get? I get b of j is equal to a1 plus d of j a2 uh, here I, I gain now this and a2 is equal to our let us say derivative fx so this is also unknown plus ej so or i write my error ej is equal to bj minus a1 minus dxj into a2 yeah j is 1 to m everywhere j is equal to 1 to m so this i denote by equation number 13.2 so here we have m equations two unknown a1 and a2 because that's a bj is known because we know the value at all neighbors and it's uh, also to the minimum is one of the neighbor so we have two unknowns a1 and a2 but m equations mostly m is greater than 2 so if m is equal to 2 is also fine because we have two unknown and two equations which looks like a finite difference uh, idea but uh, we have chosen that uh, the, the radius of uh, the number uh, for the looking the uh, neighbor we have chosen a little bit larger radius that we always get minimum of three neighboring point now we again get over system of equations. So we solve them again with the minimization in the 
लिश स्क्वायर स्क्वायर सेंस तो इट मीन्स दिस इंप्लाइज मिनिमाइज द फंक्शनल एफ ऑफ ए वन ए टू एज समेशन ऑफ जे इज कल वन टू एम डब्ल्यू जे इज ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ जे इज इक्वल टू वन टू एम सो इज ए स्क्वायर कमिंग फ्रॉम थर्टीन पॉइंट टू सो फ्रॉम थर्टीन पॉइंट टू वट वी गेट दैट डब्ल्यू ऑफ जे टाइम्स इज ए स्क्वायर इज बी जे माइनस ए वन माइनस बी एक्स जे ए टू होल स्क्वायर सो अगेन सो मिनिमाइजेशन मीन्स So we have two variables, so a one and a two. So derivative, partial derivative of each variable should be zero. So delta f a one a two by delta a one is equal to zero, and delta f a one a two by delta a two is equal to zero. So again. what we do is that we take the partial derivative of this functional with respect to a1 make it zero and take partial derivative of this functional with respect to a2 make it zero then we get the linear system so now here we have two unknown then we get two by two linear system see in our method 1 what we had that we had in the linear case Only one by one matrix, or so only one component. But here we have two because two unknown. I have the difference is that so earlier we have taken this x min on the left hand side, which was a known value. So I had not put f of x o as unknown. But here I have put taken the f of x o as unknown. Therefore, this function we are looking for. as well as we are looking for the derivative at this point x o so once we know the derivative or so if we know a1 then we will find our solution now let us come compute uh, this minimization process so what do we have so i will write our first equation what we are having f of x i j is equal to f of x o plus u x i j minus x o f x plus e of x i j. So that we are having our equation number thirteen point one. So let me remove this. So now taking so again the same process del f a one by del a two del a one is is equal to summation. So it is partial derivative of del by del a one summation of w j b j minus a one minus d x j a two square so again applying the chain rule what do we get so summation is coming out w of j this is coming now is a 2 and what you have vj minus a1 minus dx j a2 times now the partial derivative of this inside the bracket is minus 1 because del a by sorry it is del A, uh, with respect to a one, so partial derivative of a one, the b j is with respect to a one zero. With respect to a one is is a minus one, and 
with respect to this is zero. So then we get only this one. So what we have del f a one a two by del a one is zero. This implies we get that this part is 0 minus 1 you can take to the right hand side so 2 also you can take to the right hand side then everything 0 then we get w of j bj minus a1 minus bxj into a2 is equal to 0 so we can write sum of so I can write, just put this on the right hand side. So sum of Wj into A1 plus sum of Wj dxj into A2 is equal to sum of Wj into Bj. J is from 1 to M everywhere. 1 to M, J runs from 1 to M. So summation. So this is my equation number thirteen point two. Yeah. Similarly, del f a one a two by del a two is del by del a2 so it is summation of wj b1 bj minus a1 minus dxj a2 square again using the chain rule we get uh, summation of wj times 2 times here this inside the bracket bj minus a1 minus dxj a2 times so partial derivative of this bj is 0 partial derivative of this a1 with respect to a2 is 0 and partial derivative of this term with respect to a2 is minus dxj and this is partial derivative a2 with respect to a2 is 1. Then what do we get here? Minus dxj. So same as this, what we can get that this implies. So I can write everything. So this is equal to 0. So del f a1 a2 by del a2 is equal to 0. This implies that we get explicitly like this. So, so here we get W of J. 2 is going out. So here is a minus here. Minus sign. So minus 2 is on the right hand side is 0. So then we get W of J is a BJ times this dxj minus a1 times dxj minus dxj square so or we just write the other way dxj times a1 minus dxj dxj is dxj square times a2 is equal to 0 so then if i put to our, our to the right hand side. So if we put it on the right hand side, what do you get? So this implies I can get it uh, this summation of Wj dxj a1 plus summation of Wj dxj square times a2 is equal to that part summation of wj dx dxj times bj so this is 
the second equation this is i denote as 13.3 now what do we get we get two equations yeah the equation the first one and the equation second so two unknown a1 and a2 two equations now at least we hope that we get the the consistency so number of equation is equal to number of unknown then we hope to get the solution and now so writing in matrix form of 13.2 and 13.3 what do we get so i get here so my unknown is a1 a2 so first equation i get here the component of a1 is summation of j is equal to 1 to m wj so this all are summation over j is equal to 1 to m j is equal to 1 to m and the second component of this one is here this summation of j is equal to 1 to m wj dxj sorry it should be let me write through here so the first component is this and the sum a times a2 is summation of wj dxj and from this equation the first component is summation of 1 to m wj dxj and the second component is summation of wj dxj square so this is a matrix and this is the unknown vector is equal to our right hand side is first right hand side is summation of wj bj and the second right hand side is summation of wj dxj bj so the summation runs from 1 to m yeah so this 13.4 So now we can invert this matrix if it is not singular. So if all points are again lying in the same, uh, it is zero. Then this column is the zero. Therefore, we don't get a solution. Yeah. So if if the matrix is non-singular. we can write a1 we can invert it so this implies our a1 a2 is equal to is inverse of this matrix we put right inside sum of wj sum of wj dxj sum of wj this is a symmetric matrix sum of wj dxj square times the vector sum of wj bj sum of wj so dxj bj so j run from always to have 1 to m so i don't want to write so this is the inverse here so you know that the inverse of 2 by 2 matrix so just remember if i have a b c d it inverse is 1 by determinant of d 
a minus c minus b where determinant is equal to a d minus b c so two by two matrix we can invert so once we can get the inverse of this matrix what do you get applying that inverse formula you want a2 is equal to Deter 1 by determinant and uh, this come to that part and this goes there and these two are minus so it is a summation of wj dxj square here it comes summation of wj so here minus uh, minus summation of wj it is symmetric dxj here minus summation of wj dxj this inverse determinant is wj times wj dxj square minus wj dxj to the power 2 times our vector is a summation of wj vj summation of wj dxj bj so we can write explicitly so if this implies we are looking for at the moment a1 because a1 remember that a1 was f of x o minus f of x min so that was our notation so if we take the if we take the the component of first on the left equal to the first component on the right so then we get a1 is 1 by determinant we just multiply this first component so it is w of j dxj square times summation of so here is summation wj bj minus summation of wj wj dxj times summation of wj dxj bj yeah so this implies what is a1 is a1 is f of x0 minus f of x min is equal to the same right hand side so it is uh, 1 by determinant of this guy in the inside the bracket summation of wj dxj square summation of wj bj minus summation of wj dxj into summation of wj dxj bj so we are looking for f of x o so our f of x o is the interpolated value is f of is you put on the right hand side f of x minimum plus 1 by determinant of this this quantity summation of wj dxj square summation of wj bj minus summation of wj dxj into summation of wj dxj bj so this is our first order interpolation using moving least square method so this inside this red box is our first order moving least square so remember that we have assumed that we this approximate the minimum value and now we have done the correction it is a little bit different from the earlier case 
Now, in next lecture, we continue with this, the higher order. So we go to the second order, and then we stop the uh, interpolation method. Thank you.